I've got my oils, I've got my lye water, I've got my colours, I've got my kaolin and I've got my fragrance blend. So today we're making soap. So I finally got my plan in place for relaunching my own products. This has meant a lot of testing, new fragrances and colours and product stability testing over the past year. Um, I'm hoping to launch in the new year once we've moved and I'm set up in my new space, which I will show you soon. Um, I've had quite a lot of questions as to why it's taken me this long to release my own products again. And the answer is simply that launching a cosmetic product shouldn't be rushed. Uh, you want to ensure that your products are stable and they work as intended for the expected time. Um, and also being in the UK means getting safety assessments and a lot of budgeting um, and these aren't cheap. <laughs> so overall I'm happy with the range I've created. So I'm going to start sharing the process of making some of the products. The exact formulas for my own range I won't be sharing, um, but I will be sharing some other formulas that I love and those will be over on Patreon and my own website. Now for those asking about an alternative to Patreon, it's here. So if you don't like Patreon or you can't access it, you can now go to my website, which is linked below and click on membership. And there you'll find three tiers. You can do the official patron VIP or mentoring, depending on what you want. If you scroll down, it'll tell you what you get in each of those. And there's also a little welcome video which shows you how to use the portal. Um, but I'll show you quickly here. You can go to the membership info, it will have that video and it also have information below here showing you how to use everything and how to access everything. And then you'll get access to the members area. And this is all the content that I have on my Patreon. So it's, it's just replicated, but in my opinion, it's a bit easier to find on here. So whether you want to use this or Patreon is up to you. Um, but you can scroll down and view everything. There's like four or five pages of it at the moment. And then you can use this filter uh, to find exactly what type of thing you want. If you can't find it using the filter, just use the search at the top of the website. And it's that simple really, and I'll be updating this uh, weekly and monthly, depending what tier you're on, um, just like I do Patreon. And that's all accessible by signing up by a membership here. Okay, I'm making soap today because I need to get my own line sorted. So here are my oils, all fully cooled. I'm soaping close to room temperature because I use a lot of hard oils, uh, butters in this, and I also add sugar to my lye water, which means that this does tend to accelerate. However, I've upped my water content to help with that a little bit. Um, what I'm doing now is just adding the kaolin clay to the oils uh, before I start adding the lye, just so that that's already incorporated beforehand. What kaolin clay does in soap is it aids in a nice creamy lava. I stick blend that to make sure that there's no lumps of unblended kaolin in the mix. And then I add my lye water. To this, I added sugar to the water, um, about 4% sugar and I let that dissolve before I added the lye to the water and that's why it looks a little bit golden. Sugar helps with extra bubble and lather in your soap which is why I add it, however it does cause acceleration so be aware of that. Um, then what I do is I sheer mix it all together to make an emulsion and I do what I normally do and take it a little bit too far. Um, you should really just have it to just before emulsion if you want to add colours and stuff because um, that will just give you a little bit more working time. So then I'm separating it off into different jugs so that I can do my different colours. And for this, I'm using soapery colour uh, micas. Um, I've got a couple of purples and I'm also using titanium dioxide. It's an oil soluble titanium dioxide. So what I've done is mix it with a little bit of the oils uh, prior to adding because it just helps it disperse a little bit better. Um, and then to this, I'm going to add a bit of my fragrance to each. Um, Really, I think you should measure these and um, this was just a little experiment for me. So 
I haven't measured it out accurately, but if I was to sell this, um, I'd measure out the fragrance as per the amount of soap batter I have, so that you're not overloading any particular jug of batter, if that makes sense. You don't want too much fragrance in one bit and not enough in another. At least that's my opinion anyway. Um, then you want to sheer mix this. As you can see, it's accelerating on me quite a lot, but it's fine because for this I'm doing an in the pot swirl so I'm basically just going to dump all the colours in the same bucket give it a quick stir around just so you get a marbled effect and then we're going to pour it straight into the mould I am aware here in the big bucket I should have scraped down the sides when I added the purple because um, now we've got some raw soap batter colour but it doesn't matter it all adds to the effect As I'm adding the batter, I'm periodically knocking the air out uh, by banging the mould on the table um, and this just helps prevent any air bubbles that are caught between the soap batter, um, which means you won't get these weird holes in your soap when it's fully cured, at least I hope not. Um, once we've got this all in the mould, we need to tap it down again and then we'll do our little pattern in it and then we're going to add some lavender buds to the top to make it look nice and pretty. When you are putting patterns in the top, make sure you are using stainless steel spoons or uh, wooden lolly sticks. You don't want to be using something that the lye batter is going to eat into. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting a little bit of a pattern in it just so it looks a bit more interesting on the top. And I got these lavender buds uh, on Amazon. I think that's linked below uh, in my Amazon storefront link. Um, and they're quite purple and vibrant. They do go a little bit brown over time, but it's, it's just a tiny bit just for interest. And then I spritz the whole thing with some isopropyl alcohol to help prevent soda rash. And then we're going to leave that to cure for about 24 to 48 hours and then we'll come back and cut it. Okay, it's quite a small loaf so we're good to unmould 24 hours later and this is what it looks like. And the purple has stayed really nicely, it's a really beautiful lilac colour, I don't know if it comes across on camera, it possibly looks a bit blue. But look at those beautiful shiny sides and that marbling effect I just I'm in love with it the only downside is I did still get air bubbles I didn't quite knock the air out enough because it was accelerating on me I'm not too bothered about them um, but I'd make a bit more effort obviously of selling the bar because I want to be as perfect as possible and here we're going to cut it with this nice cutter. I got this cutter off uh, Etsy. Um, I believe I've put a link in the description, no affiliation, um, just recommend them. They're really, really good quality. And that's what it looks like inside. You'll see there are the odd little bits of uh, uncolored soap batter in there where I didn't scrape the sides, but it's not really ruined it, I don't think. It still looks really, really beautiful. I am really in love with in the pot swirls i think they give such a nice beautiful marbling effect um and it's it's a good thing to do if you want colors in something that's accelerating because you don't have to worry too much about your design you just throw it all in a bucket and mix it a little bit and this is the kind of result you get i suspect these purples will change color a little bit as the soap sits and cures so we'll wait and see if they stay purple or go more blue or what they do who knows um but it smells amazing and it just i'm really pleased with how it looks so all in all i'd say this was a success If you want instructions including supplier details and uh, all the ingredients and everything you need then that will be on both my Patreon and my new membership that I chatted about at the beginning of this video so you can find those there to make your own. Until then enjoy uh, looking at this beautiful soap <laughs> and I will see you in the next video and please don't forget to comment and subscribe and all that jazz and yeah i'll see you next time